team. Joe Paterno with his ball club. And here come the Nittany Lions with a 6 and 3 record, ranked 19th in the country, running into Beaver Stadium with a confidence and a swagger reminiscent of the Lions a decade ago. 108,000. The Cavaliers, the Nittany Lions, the ACC, the Big Ten, and it's coming up next on Nittany ABC. Line ever to go over a thousand yards in a single season. Thirty-three guys have done it in their career, but in a single season, nine of them, and he's one. Kurt Smith with a short kick taken by Johnson at the three. We're underway. Breaks two tackles and carries. The so ball we get our first look at Zach Mills, the 6'2 sophomore from Ionsville, Maryland, hitting 58% of his passes with 12 touchdowns, six picks, half of those against Ohio State. Folks, he is one cool, calm quarterback who is some kind of tough. Yeah, he struggled a little bit last year against UVA. UVA dropped eight guys into coverage. He threw three interceptions and some debate among the Penn State coaches what type of defensive drops they're going to see from UVA today. First down, Penn State. Williams switches sides. Jefferson and Johnson in the backfield. Mills throws. This is complete to Jefferson out to the 30. Johnson yard is the record setting tailback we've talked about, and certainly the focal point. Tony Johnson and Brian Johnson have combined for 66 receptions. The offensive line is big and talented. Felder, 321 pounds. McKelvey, 326. Iorio, 300. Lend is the little guy, 293. Schmidt is 301. Big, strong, and nasty. Second down and six for the Lions. Ryan Johnson in motion. Larry Johnson, the ball carry. He's got a first down, move the chains. Second down and six. Out of the eye, play action. Little waggle from Mills, looks deep. And Tony Johnson drops it. Plays especially on special teams for him as well. Third down and six for Mills. Across the middle, has it complete. That's his tight end, Casey Reed. Really first down. Again, Brian Johnson in motion on first down. Mills has pressure, drops the ball, it's loose. Cavaliers have it. Chris Canny recovered the ball, is returned for a touchdown. First down, Schaub, his pass is complete to the tight end of the 40. And Virginia, throw it, throw it, get it out of there. Watch him throw on ribbon. Second and four, throws it, balls up for grabs and incomplete. Brown is playing with a sore ankle. Third down and four. This is complete to Miller. And Miller's down to the 26-yard line. Penn State line. defense has been on a tear. The front four is led by Jimmy Kennedy and Michael Haynes. The linebackers, Stewart and Wake, are sophomores. Gino Capone is the team's second-leading tackler, but he's playing banged up, got a stinger. In the secondary, Brian Scott is a three-year starter, but Sean Mayer's the guy. Mayer's the leading tackler, just a plain leader. He's a fifth-year senior from Hillsborough, New Jersey. Second down and two. McMullen. Has the first to the 10 to the 8 yard Second line. down and 8. McMullen inside the 5 to the 3. Dives for the goal and Lundy in the backfield behind Schaub. Play action. Schaub throws to the corner and there he is. Heath Miller, the tight end, his 8th touchdown of the year. You know your scouting report. They like to go to him for the touchdowns. If you're getting ready to play Penn State, your whole focus has changed. Michael Robinson checks into the ball game. He's the receiver, makes the catch. He'll be a yard short. Also a redshirt freshman against a true freshman. Third down and one for the Lions. The option, Mills, the keeper. Has the first, still on his feet, tries to pitch it. That's going to be a forward lateral. Yeah, no they didn't flag. throw a flag. Fake the reverse. Mills now dumps it to his tight end, Casey Williams. Out of the gun, plenty of time for Mills who throws underneath. He's got Brian Johnson. Johnson into Cavalier territory and all the way down to the 41-yard line. Right here in the middle by the linebackers as they're trying to figure out who's going to pick him up and run into each other. And that was Larry Johnson in there running back across. A great call by Fran Ganner. Joe doesn't like his teams to beat themselves. Cavaliers on the board because of the Zach Mills fumble. Here's the pass to Casey Williams. Williams inside the 30, 25, down to the 23. From the 23, the give to Larry Johnson. Makes a tough cut and a flag flies. Goal as well. Now he called the five yarder. And awfully sharp in the red zone. Johnson, left side, big hole. Inside the 10. Larry Johnson to the Penn State have been by these three guys. And Tony Johnson, you know, there at the end, 
he can be dangerous as well. Larry Johnson, the oldest brother. There's Tony, the youngest, and there's Brian Johnson, no relation. Larry Johnson hit immediately. And VA wants to take it. I, you you got to take it. You got to back him up. Down and 19. Mills to Johnson. Gets a block. Inside the 15 to the 14. It's third down and 10. Mills looking deep. Touchdown, Penn State. And add another one to the list because Casey Williams has his first touchdown catch of the year. Just let run free right down the middle of the field. Crowell right here. He's got to go with that tight end. There's no safety in the middle. And the Lions see something. And they keep going back to Casey Williams. was having just an average year and then exploded towards the end. Schaub has pressure. Taken down from behind. He'll lose yardage. Starting to roll and Nate Hibble has gotten so much better at quarterback. Schaub on second and 12. Hits his tight end. He's got enough for the first and all the way out to the 35 yard line goes Heath Miller. Really soft hand. Tight ends have seven catches combined when you look at both of them here. Johnson taken down by Chris Harrell. Job with time throws a dart. It's complete to McMullen and McMullen with his third catch. Third down and one. Throw for it. And it's McMullen with the first. Terrific day for football. A little bit overcast. Temperature is perfect for Schaub, who now runs into a hot situation. And there he is again. Michael Haynes with his second sack of the afternoon. Watch right here on this part of your screen, but right to the inside. You have to protect your inside first. It's a ge geometry lesson, the shortest control. It's, that's a nice call. Tom Hagee with a high spiraling kick that hits at the five, takes a Virginia bounce, and they down it at the two. Cavaliers touchdown in that first quarter was impressive because Penn State had held opposing offenses to 13 points in the last three games, including a string of 11 quarters without an offensive touchdown until Virginia hit. Flag flies on the first such a command of this offense and a great thrower on time. Larry Johnson on first and five. Second down and seven. Johnson again around the corner. Has another first down. Seven for Zach Mills. Plenty of time to throw. Now he tucks it away and shuffles it to Johnson. And Johnson has another first down. Here he is again on first down and ten. At the bottom of the screen right here. I'd have an eye on him. Here's Mills. Throws underneath. This is Johnson. He's not going to get to the first down marker. A knuckleball that Haggins runs up and takes it to 22. Slips a tackle. Tries to get to the outside here to keep the Nittany Lions from a bowl game. They say this is a revenge game, but so far, Cavaliers aren't they backing start finding those guys. Schaub has to run for his life. Gets around the corner. And up to the... This time he's sacked. And again, it's Michael wow. Haynes. Somebody slow him down. Three sacks for Haynes. There's Haynes right here, comes inside. And it looked like the right guard, Brad Butler, just never got as he was trying to get under there. And, and Haynes, a guy who the coaches talked to about his conditioning in the offseason, thought he was and looked somewhere across the middle. Third down and 13, pressure again. They throw the screen. Back to the original line of scrimmage. It's really bad in the first half at the beginning of the year, but right now they're playing great. Mills tucks it away, carries it himself, and is out to the middle. Ever. Zach Mills throwing deep. Overthrown. Middle. For Zach Mills. Third down and ten. Mills pumps, now rolls. In trouble. And almost intercepted by Jerk. He's looking to break one here or give the Cavaliers good field position. Oh, a high spiraling punt. This is a terrific kick. And great coverage, but the missed tackle. There is no way they can throw a flag on that. He wasn't in the halo. I agree. He threw his, his sandbag first and then in super slow motion, but I, I just did not see this. And it's such a big penalty now. 
because of all time. It was a lot like Chubb. They never great arm, but just threw everything on time. Here he throws underneath to Lundy, who spins and stays in bounds. And may have lost a yard. Chubb all 12 games. Almost intercepted, but then caught and dropped by Billy McMullen. A break on the ball by Rich Gardner. Squatted down. He knew McMullen was just going to run to about 10 or 11 yards to try to get it. And Gardner made a great play on the ball. Brian Johnson back to the 49 yard line. Mills Johnson tries to get to the corner, picks a hole, and bangs his way out. I see a shot over the top here. Second down and 12 for Mills, who throws it away. Three guys covering two. Third down and 12 for Zach Mills and Penn State. Low snap. Mills with time. Looks for Johnson. He's got a head of steam. He's got a first down. Larry Johnson. Down and 10 for the Nittany Lions. The option to Johnson. Inside the 30. Johnson to the 22. This is what scares them the most. Out of a spread shotgun formation, you force the pitch, but it is so hard because you've got the receivers over there. If you're Virginia, you've got to be ready for a run. Second down and 13. Here he is. Robinson down to the 15. Burning a lot of clock. 25 seconds for Mills. And incomplete. It's dropped by his fullback, Jefferson. He's 8 for 8 on the season, so just like practice for him. Former walk on, 11 of 15 for the year. Good snap, good hold, high kick. And it's good. And so with 16.9 seconds. And Bill Little out of Texas when we were in Austin said, hey, we're going to win the national championship and people don't believe we're going to be in it. Well, because Oklahoma, if they have to go to the Big 12 championship and lose and Texas wins out, they could be sitting in the driver's seat. The end of the first half, Virginia will get the ball to start the second half. In fact, they've looked at those statistics. They know what is on the line here this afternoon. This takes weeks five yards deep. He downs it there. Surprising the UVA, quick. not much of a running team, although negative 13 yards, a little uh, inflated or deflated, I should say, because of the sacks by Michael Haynes. But first down has, has really been tough for both of these teams, and they've got to start getting three, four, five yards. You don't need eight, nine, or ten. And really surprising, Penn State at 2.2 yards. They came into the game. First down, Cavaliers. Schaub with time, throws, has it complete. Billy McMullen breaks a tackle and look out. His fifth catch of the year into Penn State territory, or the game rather. Mac McDonald said that the Cavaliers have outscored their opponent 12 straight games in the second half. Wow. Here they go deep. Almost intercepted. It was incomplete. It was intended for Ryan Sawyer. This ball just slightly underthrown because of the pressure. And that you just can't defend it any better right there. Gardner had that 10. Pierman cuts it back. Fumble. Penn State says they have it. No signal yet. Andy Ryland says he has the ball and he does. So Tom Bradley's defense forces the turnover. About running to the ball. Watch these guys in the middle as Pearman tries to get to the outside. And Anthony Adams, all of these guys just sprinting down there. Boy, I, I don't know who knocked it out, but Anthony Adams, what a fantastic nose guard for Joe Paterno. Mike Haynes does a great job getting back inside, and Pierman is hurt. He dropped that ball, Tim. Johnson on the carry, so it's second down and seven. Mills, after play action, throws to a wide open Bryant Johnson, who secures the ball and moves it down inside the 35. Play action one way brings Zach Mills back. He's got all day, and this route took all day. Bryant was the far receiver to Mills left, ran a deep in. Mills 12 for 20 on the sprint option. Now pitches late. Johnson inside the 30. Oh, just the UVA guys. Second down and seven. Mills complete. And Tony Johnson holds on to this one. Here's the option. Dangerous pitch. Johnson gets a blocker in front of him. Inside the 15. 
three and a half games. Mills, shuffle pass to his fullback. Inside goes Jefferson. Touchdown, Penn State. Double pass. The whole key is you leave this guy unblocked. He gets up the field. Everyone else blocks down. And it just becomes wide open for Jefferson, who's moving on up. To the north side of the stadium. <laughs> But you just take the aggressiveness away from a defense when that shovel pass is so nice. You let him get up the field. And seven to play in the third. Oh, Mr. Jefferson. Play down inside the red zone for Penn State. Spread formation, quick pass to the outside. This is a pickup of 11 before he's... Absolutely nothing. Chubb, five step, throws underneath, complete. So that good and efficient for those running backs. He needs 10 on second down. Hits his tight end in a flat. A chance to keep their drive alive. They move it all the way down to the 40. Backside pressure. It's Mayer's got the sack. Sean Mayer. Coming, but Meyer, Mayer, excuse me, comes from the outside. Well, it's a play fake. Chubb's got to know that's coming. That's his guy. That's, you know, when you hear what's called hot reads or side adjusts, Chubb's got to know, and I know he's got his back turned, but he has got to peak that safety to that Record side. For number of tackles by a DB. This is Johnson, and he's hit for a loss. This is Penn State, the left defensive end. He's getting double teamed. And Heath Miller, the tight end, just comes off too soon. And this Second down and nine. Mills strike to Johnson. Brian Johnson out to the 34 yard line. They're starting to blitz, so now you're starting to see one on one. And, and Joe Paterno says, now we got some guys who can beat you one on one. And I don't blame Winborn for giving Bryant, but but I just again Mills to throw, and he's had the hot hand wide open. Mike Gasparato. Gasparato inside the 30 to the 27 yard line. Gasparato lined up. It's just a release. Uh, they're only rushing three and dropping eight, but he just trails right on Casey Williams. Actually, hats off to Fran Ganner on that call. He used Casey Williams as a decoy. Second down and 15. Mills again with plenty of time. Throws to Robinson incomplete. 10 yards to try to get Gould into field goal range. Sean McHugh comes in as a blocking back. Backside pressure by Blackstock. Pass intended for Tony it's Johnson. 50 yarder, no yeah. question about Drive, that. Drives a little low, and somebody gets a hand up. It could be a huge momentum change. He got it all. Oh, yes, sir. And I mean, he drilled it. That's it's good. good. 70. Are you kidding me? Told you it was a good call. Well, <laughs> he was driving this ball. Watch how quickly this ball gets up in the air. And does not lack of confidence. He's a guy who's always saying, Coach, let me try the long one. I'm wondering now if he called that timeout. He was there to punt, looked at it, said, hold on. Well, I think a dangerous one for Bowling Green. Cavaliers on first down and 10. This is Lundy. Out to the 25. Multi-formation, you usually you'll see some changes. That'll be a play well for Al Gro today. First down for Virginia. Schaub throws. It's tipped incomplete. The ball out on time. Gets this one out on time. Complete to McMullen. They only need one. They got it. Exact same language at how we saw an offensive team. Schaub throws. And I mean to tell you, Anderson was just tattooed. Penn State and Tom Bradley, they've had so many injuries in that secondary. And the safety guy played cornerback last year. That's a nice read. Harrell said he wanted to play like Ronnie Lott. Well, that's, that's similar. Who cares if you're calling it 10 times a game? Third down and long and incomplete. Really, really turned it up in the second half of this season. Right now, it's a two touchdown game. Penn State can blow it wide open here. Just. Larry Johnson has 123 yards and it's only in the third period. Here he goes again. Johnson breaks a tackle and then punishes a tackle. 
Mills throws a strike. Tony Johnson. Oh, he's really starting to focus in. First down, option. Johnson, quick break, explosion, breaks a tackle. Look out. Johnson's on the run inside the 10. He's gone. 43 yards, but there is a flag back at the 30. And it's against Penn State. Second down for Mills. Throws almost intercepted. Urbana High School. Quality young man, terrific quarterback, and this is incomplete. Thrown behind. Pass interference on the defense. The penalty will be a first and ten. Into Merrill Robinson, almost set a pick. Johnson on first down with a cut. Down to the third. Changing the play slightly. Or maybe dramatically. Seven yards out for Robbie Gold. Good snap. Big. They turn it up. First down. Look out. Chris Gantner with the touchdown run for Penn State. And the coach's son scores a big one from 30 out. Just lost his mom. They still have two in high school. Here's Zach Mills on the left side. And he scores and converts the two. Jefferson got a block. And right now, Chris Ganner's helping them on their way to reaching and making that goal come reality. I still have one of those yellow blazers. Shaw throws a strike to the outside. The stadium out by Rec Hall. And you know what Joe Paterno was doing then? Don't tell me he was on the same as when we played against him when I was at Maryland in the early 70s. Fumble by Schaub. Penn State says they have it. They do. Boy, that's a, you know, Tom Bradley this year. More than double what they had last year. And that's just an excellent job. Getting Sean. in there and stripping that ball away. Sean Mayer comes up with it. His second fumble recovery of the year. Nittany Lions trying to put a lock and key on this one. Here's Johnson around the corner. Oh, he has 167 with 14 minutes left. Sean McHugh straight ahead. Get it off with two on the play clock. They throw to the outside. It's complete to Tony Johnson at the 11. Here's Mills to Johnson. Pushes the pile ahead to the five. Johnson, oh, touchdown oh, Penn oh. State. Larry Johnson virtually unstoppable from six yards out. And the route is on. Joining Texas A&M and Oklahoma. A great game. Say, all right, see number 98, and number 73, and number 81 for Penn State. Guys, I had a couple of calls. Too. Well, those calls have been well documented, no question about it. Here's McMullen, quality oh, receiver, picks up a first aggressive, the four quarter type player. Big hole, left side, pick up schedule this year, especially early on. Sawyer was the motion man. On second down, Schaub throws to the outside. It's complete. It should be enough for the first. before they played him. And he knew they were going to see a lot of different stuff. What a great job that him and his staff did. Schaub runs for, for five. The team's playing all different days of the week and buys in there. Uh, one of the things that I learned during my time. Really, um, really learn with a young team from a, from a team like Penn State. First down, play action, throw to the outside, another Almost strike. Ten inches across from Pinky to Thumb. Strike to the tight end of the five-yard line. Uh, the others on the sideline wearing <laughs> number, number five. five. Lundy to the goal line. Touchdown, Virginia. Wally Lundy, the freshman from Willingboro, New Jersey, from four yards out, scores. 
and Sam just talked to John Capillary. We'll go down there after this play. Michael Robinson in the quarterback now. He's the runner to the 25. Here's Larry Johnson. Dodges a couple Pulled of against Wisconsin. Uh, you got to balance the 200 yard game with possibly getting him injured. Robinson on second and short has the first down. A lot of time game planning, but we spend just as much time recruiting, trying to build the talent level here at UVA. Well, he said he was born to be a Nittany line. <laughs> Let Sam tell you that story here. In there just you a second. go. Down with 17 to play. Robinson to the 20. A game that has been dominated in the second half by Penn State. Again, they run the option, get to the corner. Robinson tucks it away. Look out. Down to the 10. Ball's loose. Penn State looks like they got it. Inside the sophomore, and he's learned to lock that thing away. That'll do it. Penn State goes to seven and three. They still want to make it to nine and three and increase of their coaches. Well, the game started out with a Virginia touchdown. After that, it was all Penn State. Timeout at the end of the game. We'll be back with some final thoughts right after this.